Hi, it's Matt, and in this episode, we're on board with my Hornet FPV Flying Wing. Now, as you can tell, look where that sun is. Uh, we're reaching autumn here in the United Kingdom, uh, and the sun is really down low. But it's not raining, so it's got to be a flying day. So this is uh, the new flying site, and you'll see that I'm just generally just cruising around with the Hornet Wing. I'm, look at the amp draw in the bottom left-hand corner. So that's about half throttle. Uh, I'm just enjoying the scenery, getting used to the wind conditions uh, and just working out a little track for me to follow. Then I start to think, uh, pick things up a gear uh, and at the moment I'm up quite high. Oh, and you'll see that she is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful in the rolls now. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and that was also me just checking the rates as well. So the first two rolls which we had were on low rates uh, and the second two were on high rates. So that's me now getting prepared to cane the living daylights off this thing. So I realized I'm up high, time to get down low. And this is like my favorite maneuver. Cane it about two foot off the ground and then just jump up over the hedges. Oh. I love doing that. That you're going to see me flying through some trees in a few minutes, but yeah, cane it across the field, then hitting the hedge line and just bumping up a touch and then sinking back down the other side. Yeah, I will be doing some more of that uh, on the weekend. Very, very good fun. Oh, those two trees there. Uh, the one on the right hand side, uh, we've named it Dead Man's Arm. Because uh, do you see that branch sticking out then? You don't normally see that in the goggles into the very last moment. Uh, big hat tip to Dave. Uh, he did give me a warning about that. Uh, now, is this where I stuff it in? No, it's not where I stuff it in. Uh, oh, and by the way, that tree line, you can fly all the way along underneath the tree line uh, and then just jump up, just bunny hop uh, over the hedge line. Super cool little uh, track to go down. Uh, now, I am think I'm waiting for Dave to get his uh, flying wing up because we were chasing each other around. Uh, really, really, really good fun. Or it might have been the case that Dave was following me. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll put a link to Dave's uh, episode uh, in the uh, video description and a little bubble in the top right hand corner of this episode uh, near the end. Uh, do take a, a click on that one because that's the HD version. Dave had his run cam on his uh, flying wing, whereas I'm this is just a DVR recording, so the quality is pants. Uh, and yeah, I spotted that from the air so that you can come all the way along that hedge line. Uh, but there's a couple of bushes in there, so you do need to jump up a bit of height. So this is me getting in close. Ah, right. I would like to just say right now, that wasn't my, entirely my fault. That is the dropout issue which I've been having with the V4R2 receivers uh, when using FPV. Uh, it's absolutely plagued me with this model. Uh, it's been driving me bonkers. And literally today, uh, I've just downgraded the video transmitter to a 25 milliwatt transmitter and I've put a D4R2 uh, uh, receiver on the other wing and then separated the antennas out. Uh, to be honest, I think the, uh, the receiver was getting swamped by the video transmitter so and I've separated them out by another uh, good six eight inches between the two devices uh, and there's me just giving us a quick brush up uh, I'm pretty sure you can't see me cussing there but I can assure you there was some unmentionables mentioned uh, and anyway I'm in a good location so why hold back <laughs> and also when I was always running across the field to uh, go and collect her I was paying more attention uh, to the uh, actual tree line itself so let's get get ourselves orientated again uh, and come back ground and this was absolutely amazing just darting in and out of the trees brilliant brilliant fun oh i've also upgraded the camera the fpv camera from uh, this is a sony uh, h uh, ccd camera which i've been using and there's dave up there uh, you may have seen him fly past a few moments ago uh, anyway, I've upgraded the camera from a Sony CCD camera, uh, which has been pretty damn good, to be fair, uh, to a Runcam Swift. So my orange uh, Runcam Swift is now on the front of this one, and ooh, that was close. Uh, remember that tree. Uh, it jumped out and grabs me in a minute. Uh, anyway, I've been and upgraded the camera to the Runcam Swift, uh, and wow, what a difference. 
Uh, this camera is perfectly flyable and cost me, wait for it, a tenner. So that video quality isn't that bad. It, in fact, it looks way better uh, in the goggles themselves uh, and it's perfectly flyable. In fact, in many ways, Matt's probably been in tweak the uh, settings a bit hot too hard on this one. But uh, my point being, for a £10 CCD camera, absolutely brilliant. And I'm, I genuinely mean that. But because I knew what I was going to be doing uh, with these trees now that I've been and discovered them, uh, is that I have been and swapped it over to the Runcam Swift. Uh, and yeah, the quality is night and day difference. So anyway, I'm going to go and wrap up now. Look out for my little maneuvers going across the grounds. Uh, low, fast, uh, and then little bunny hops uh, when it comes to the hedges, if I do that in the rest of the episode. Uh, and also look out for a near miss with Dave. We were... We did get particularly close at one point uh, and you'll also you'll see that each time I come back I'm becoming more daring in what I'm doing and uh, that does catch me out in about ooh, two minutes time. <laughs> So with that said, enjoy the rest of the flight. Uh, I'll put a link to Dave's uh, recording, uh, what, what he saw of this flight. Uh, it's full HD and I'll put that at the end of this episode for you. So with that said, for myself, Matt, as always, cheerios. Oh, and enjoy the flight. Bye-bye.